UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Boxer back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is it's not engaging his opponent on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. We set it inside Ladies the Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Muncie, Indiana, USA, Bulldog. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting at Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Landed a big kick there. Time to shot nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Big knee land. 
outstanding combination of knees by Lee. Under three minutes remain in round one. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Nice punch land. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Oh, collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, beautiful power with the jab. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Misses with that punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Strong defense there to block the shot. And that one certainly found the target. Round two straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Establish that jab. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Right hand on point. Oh, huge block. Nice punch by Lee. Come on, let me see that right Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Three minutes now to go in round two. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Nice head kick. Oh, looks like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Nice body kick. 
Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fight. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Clift with a right hand counter. And that he comes knee. through with a big move. That knee hurt him. Now goes in and... It's in there deep. There you go. Oh. This fight, folks. You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. done. Pick it off. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Him. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice punch land over the top. Big liver kick land. Oh, the look at this out of nowhere. It's flashy but effective. Illuminari roll into a potential heel hook here. This could get interesting. Oh, wow. Guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, feet on the hips here. Man, look how flexible those legs are. He's got them in rubber guard. I don't think I could do that if I try. I mean, John, don't sell yourself short. You just might be able to do it. But if you do, John, you're doing it with the idea that you're slowing everything right. down as a defensive fighter. There are submissions, right? There are submissions, but they're very rare submissions that we don't see used very often in the UFC. All right, has the guard closed here? What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Stop. Deep breath and recover. And you can probably feel that eye is starting to swell. You don't want it to close up on you. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant... Over the 
top. This fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Beautiful strike. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Back to the jab now, no good. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land, and he's gotta really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Ooh, what a punch. Unable to connect with the right hook. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Head kick lands. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Lee. Beautiful kick. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to working the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. And the uppercut lands. Able to check the high kick. Kick land. Great kicks there. Nice head kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. One minute to go. Right punches there. 45 seconds remain in the round. Nice straight punch. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Big body kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Liver kick. Caught that kick there. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Back and forth we go. Shot to the body, turned back by Lee. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, 
Makes it. Just misses with a left hook there. Under two minutes to decide this one now. Punch over the top. Oh, beautifully timed with that head kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big kick land. And he landed the right hand there. Lee's kick is blocked. Great punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, beautiful slip and counter there by Lee. Campbell's inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, that right hand is on point. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. Looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 48-47, 49-46, and 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bulldog. All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges'